What have I started, huh? Uh, I start doing a couple of videos about some of these mainstream media sites doing things, and then suddenly I get flooded with more information. People send me this IGN video with the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy on it, and this game is 1440p, 30 frames per second on the PS4 Pro, and it's only on the PS4 at this particular time. So the interesting part about the, the messages that I've been receiving was saying that the game... Uh, was in fact those specifications and I will link an article that backs that up there is also the digital foundry test which says it has trouble even maintaining the 30 the 30 FPS it's more like 20 something um, and so the game even on the pro the highest settings or whatever it is 1440p 30 FPS mostly under that but still now this IGN video says the first 15 minutes of Crash Bandicoot, 4K, 4K 60 FPS, in parentheses, right in the title. Not in the description, but in the title. So, when you, I was like kind of floored when I saw this, right? I'm sitting there going through YouTube and there you see it. 4K 60 FPS. Now, if I'm kind of a layman, I'm thinking, hey, this thing's 4K 60 FPS on the PS4 Pro. You know, I'm not really thinking... Well, did they capture that? Did they sample it? Did they do something with the rendering to make it 60 FPS? That, to me, is just very misleading. And the fact of the matter is, I'm going to link a picture in the description to this to their original uh, video. They have since changed this uh, after you check out the comment section. And most of the comments were, oh, 1440p is now 4K to IGN, huh? It just illustrates... The biasness, the level that these these so-called quote-unquote journalists go to to make the PS4 and PS4 Pro look good. Uh, 1440p is not 4K. Uh, that would be like saying anything above 1080p was 4K. It's just not. Uh, and 60 frames per second when a game is 30, eh, that's not either. That's <laughs> I don't care. You know, like, specify it. You're a journalist. This is misinformation meant to make the PS4 look good. Uh, you know... You're not an entertainment site or an entertainer or a blogger or a YouTuber per se. Everybody can get stuff wrong. I, I understand that. And maybe this just was something that they got wrong. But to me, they've been doing stuff like this a little bit too often for it to be considered um, a, a simple mistake. So proceed with caution if you're one of the gamers that follows these sites anymore. Because it seems like more and more of these quote-unquote mistakes are happening all the time and it's very unfortunate and it's very troublesome and worrisome as a gamer because we know that there's a lot of misinformation floating around there anyway and so people could have been fooled into thinking that this game was 4k 60 on the ps4 pro uh, and this isn't the only type of thing time we've seen stuff like this we've seen these types of things with even horizon zero dawn which is an exclusive on the ps4 they they always we're titling that at, at 4K, like in there, and that's not native 4K either. So, and Microsoft has to be wary of this too in the future. But um, that's on them. This is a media site that's supposed to deliver the news, and they're supposed to deliver the facts, not this. This isn't the facts. This is the opposite of facts, and this is really just making them look worse and worse. And as someone who's been calling out the media for years now. I feel a little bit vindicated, and I know some others that, that I podcast with and interact with are feeling the same way, so it makes you scratch your head for sure. Let me know what you guys think, though. Sound off in the comment section, rate, comment, subscribe. It would help out the channel tremendously and mean a lot to me personally. Thanks. Rack them up. Crap Gamer, out.